Hello, it is Friday, March 18th, 2022. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It is, of course, a Friday puzzle today, so our first themeless puzzle of the week, and um, perhaps a bit of a challenge. We'll have to see. This possibly challenging edition of the Daily Solve is brought to you by a new benefactor, the conspicuously named Stace Spicy. I have my I have my doubts as to the authenticity of that name for reasons not, not worth explaining right now, but thank you to Stace Spicy as well as Alex and, as always, the inestimable Hood Monster, all three of them benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign. Um, so thanks for their generous support in uh, supporting this channel and making this series a sustainable part of my daily work. And thank you to everybody who has backed the Patreon campaign at any level. Um, at any level, you get access to all of the um, sol bonus solve videos that have gone up on the Patreon feed to date, as the new as well as the new ones that go up each day. So today, um, there should be the new um, mini puzzle week of speed solves, and tomorrow there will be the most recent boss words spring themeless league competition puzzle and i'm very pleased that i that i solved that one correctly under the par time so that was that was nice um and all sorts of things have gone up recently there was a much longer solve of an acrostic earlier this week for instance um okay um anyway let's get on to the puzzle how about that this is as i said a friday crossword constructed by claire rimkus and brooke husick and neither of them is a, is, a, uh, is a debut constructor. They've each constructed a handful of puzzles. So we, um, oh, and then it was edited, of course, by Will Shorts. I must mention that. So we will be solving it now, I think. Let's get started. Okay. Longtime cosmetics brand. Well, the first one that pops to mind for me is Olay. I don't know if that's, oops. Can't seem to type. There we go. But I'm not very confident, so let's check the crosses. Al ale category. Um, I don't know. A stout, a lager. What about this? Key for a trumpet. Uh, I'm not sure. A flat, B flat. Let's. I'm gonna have to look elsewhere. Um, what do we have here? Dematerialize. Um. Fade away or disintegrate. One of those is too short, one too long. Winter homes for some. Winter homes for some. I wonder if this is referring to animals who migrate or hibernate, possibly. I'm not sure. Clear indication. There's a question mark, so this is probably referring to an indication that something is clear, perhaps. Green light, the coast is clear. I'm not sure. Basics to build with. Um, could be blocks of some kind. The musical Come From Away has one. I don't think I've heard of Come From Away. The musical has one. Oh, it could be one act. What a rebellious teenager may be going through. Going through a phase, perhaps? Spots for grills. Well, it could be an outdoor grill, a barbecue grill. I don't know, patios or something like that. It could be grills in the modern slang sense, meaning the sort of teeth covering. Um, yeah, so it could be mouths or patios or any number of other things, presumably. The Walking Dead roll. Ah. Uh, I have actually never seen The Walking Dead. Um, trying to think, do I know the names of any characters from it through overhearing them? It feels though, to the extent I've heard names from characters from The Walking Red, Walking Dead, they've all been fairly generic. I don't know. Is Mike one of them? Lee. Uh, there was a Walking Dead video game, and I, I worked with people who made it, but I doubt that's what this is referring to. Okay, height. Uh, and Oregon College, whose mascot is a griffin. Boy, I'm not sure about this either. Not a great start so far, is it? Dematerialized. Does that help at all? 
and surest shot. And don't rush. Don't rush. Hmm. Power blank and allied with. Sided with, possibly. Oh, Reed College. Is that? I have no idea what their mascot is, but that could be correct. Height and the Walking Dead role. Ending with a D. Um. Just trying to think of names that end with a D in four letters. Uh, not sure. Spots for grills. Oh, it could be patios. Look at that. Let's try it and see if that helps. Lead into logical. It could be ideological. And dematerialize. Surest shot. Oh, best chance. There we go. That was more straightforward than I was making it, I think. Don't rush. Okay, let's see. Let's check the crosses on best chance. Undercard listing. What is an undercard? Don't rush. Power blank. Many a tumbler share. Winter homes for some. Clear indication basics to build with. Oh, Enid, maybe? Is there a Walking Dead character named Enid? That would fit. Dematerialized. Oh, disappear. Why didn't I why didn't I think of the most obvious possible synonym of this? This must be Enid. Height could be Acme. You reach a height, Acme. Don't rush. One at a time. Winter homes could be dens. Okay, so it is does refer to hibernation, or potentially anyway. A bear could hibernate in its den. Clear indication, I see. So you, that's clear, you would say. I see to indicate that you, you it is clear to you. Oh, sorry. Actually, I'm getting a call that is quite important. I need to take it. Okay, sorry about that. I'm back. So... Where was I? Um, oh, this could be power user. How about that? And what was this again? Basics to build with. Oh, hmm. Lead into logical. It really looks like ideological. I wonder. I wanted basics to build with maybe to start with start, but maybe it doesn't. Uh, Not sure. Undercard listing. Oh, about. Is that is that a boxing? I think that might be a boxing term, perhaps. And many a Tumblr share. So Tumblr is an online blog platform. What would this be? Um, many a Tumblr share. In things on Tumblr, they're often images. What would that be? I'm not sure. Sorry. Symbol of strength. I mean, there are many of those. <laughs> uh, what about this? Articulated. Um, if you took, if you articulated something, you said it or you explained it. Um, or if something is articulated, it's sort of jointed or hinged like an articulated bus. What about this? De segunda blank second hand in Spanish. Um, is it mono? And ale category is, uh, maybe that's not what it is. Well, the, the, the key for a trumpet is going to have, it's going to end in flat. That of which, of that I'm certain. So, what about the crosses here? Things stuck with toothpicks. And like the more interesting twin, some would say. Like the more interesting twin, 
some would say, and many a tumbler share. Boy, this is a tricky one for me today, isn't it? Articulated, it might come with a spoon straw. Oh, an icy. That keeps coming up in the crossword recently. Wondering if icy is becoming a bit of crossword ease. A garden variety. With a question mark. And then tell me about it. So that could be sarcastic, or it could be sincere, and that would have two very different meanings. So tell me about it sort of slightly sarcastically would mean I understand, or I, I can relate to that. I can relate actually fits. Uh, uh, and I understand it doesn't, but I can relate fits. But it could also be, I mean, it could be excited. You could genuinely be saying, oh, tell me all about it. Well, that seems a bit less likely. Ingredient in some, I'm assuming this is mole sauce. Cacao, maybe? Some mole sauces are chocolatey. Do most of the work for as a team would be to carry a team. And garden variety. What is that? Eliciting an ick. It could be yucky. And island that's part of Maui County. Um, I'm not sure. Island that's part of Maui County. Interesting. Oh, is it Lanai? That is that is one of the Hawaiian islands. So perhaps, perhaps it's part of Maui County. Uh, Maui being another one of the Hawaiian islands, but the county that it contains must also contain other islands, or the county that contains it, I should say. Bring out could be trot out. So now what is this? Oh, a starter kit. Ah, so logical is not ideological. Look at that. Whoops. Theological. Okay, that's a perfectly plausible additional choice that I didn't didn't come to mind. Garden variety. Oh, an herb. Sorry. You grow an herb in the garden. There we go. Not exactly a priority. Ah, something about the back burner. It's put on the put. No, it's not. Well, oh, it's simply on the back burner. It is not exactly a priority. It is on the back burner. I was thinking put in the sense of it is put on the back burner, but it doesn't quite doesn't quite work that. Not quite as tight a match. Okay, so let's see. What did we... Was there anything we were looking at? No. Oh, I haven't looked at this yet. They may emit as many as 200 beeps per second. It must be bats using their echolocation ability. And pants in German, I think that would be Hose. Is that right? I think so. Music slash comedy duo Garfunkel and Oates. I actually, I have encountered a video, I think, of this duo online before. And the name is obviously drawn from um, Simon and Garfunkel and Hall and Oates themselves to musical duos, but then these two women have taken two of those names. Uh, and I just happened to have, uh, I just happened to have seen, uh, been aware of them before. So that was fortunate on my, on my part. Indigenous religion of Japan would be Shinto. It's fairly straightforward. And court of courts of sorts. Atria, perhaps it's sort of a kind of a courtyard in a way. It's plural, and it will end in an A, so we do need a word that pluralizes in that in that mode. Short courses. And Spanish wine region named for an animal. Okay, I'm not sure about Atria. I'm going to delete that. We'll come back to it. Future nostalgia singer, Dua. Okay, well, I've heard of Dua Lipa. I've not heard of future nostalgia, but I don't think I need to in order to fill this clue, because the Dua part is pretty um, decisive. Store with a three-syllable name in four letters. Ikea. And a gym membership, maybe. Could be a perk, maybe, of membership to an organization or employment at a particular company, perhaps. Uh, what about this? Acknowledgement that another person is at least partly right. Oh, you could say point taken. So perhaps you don't agree, but, but you understand the point they're making. There's enough of a logical basis that their point is not outrageous on its face. 
So there must be something of validity. March participants, maybe. March participants, those who participate on a in a March, or it could be the month of March, but probably not. What is this? Oh, definitely in French. So that would be sans doute, without doubt. And program is, and sans worth saying has sort of a loan word in English as as sans, we would we would say. Um, comic sans is a famous example of that. The uh, sort of cartoonish font that does not feature serifs. It is a sans serif font. It doesn't have the little feet on the edge of the strokes, the ends of the strokes of the letters. Okay, program. A system, perhaps. And a soul, soul seller. Soul seller. Oh, Kia is a car make that I think has a model called the soul, Kia soul. So I think that's what that is. And word with rock or hard. And elevates could be, I was going to say raises, but that doesn't fit. Elevates. Some procedure could be ergo sum, as in, uh, therefore I am, I think therefore I am the, uh, Descartes. Encourage. So in this case, procedure simply means a word that could come before the word in question. And that happens often in the crossword. Encourage maybe too much. Could be egg on. Sounds that might accompany foot dragging. Mopes, I suppose. You could be moping while dragging your feet, although this doesn't look this doesn't look right. So maybe not. Oh, moans. Sim similarly, I suppose. Maybe, yeah, I suppose it's very similar meaning. Twilight, for one, would be a saga. Twilight books and movies. Thick noodle could be udon. Udon is a thick thick Japanese noodle. Cross products. Maybe buns? Hot cross buns? Is that... What about this? Exchange words. Eh, ending with a U doesn't seem very likely there. Oh, but elevates is raises up. Okay, so I was on the right track, but I didn't get that up in there. You elevate something, you raise it up, so that looks right. And cross products... Um, I mean, pen, oh, pens. Oh, yeah, there's a funny story about that, actually. I, I, I think I maybe mentioned this on the puzzle a few months ago, and it happened, but I actually wasn't familiar with cross, which is, in fact, a very long-standing American pen manufacturer. And I'd solved a, a uh, end-of-the-year jumbo Times cryptic crossword, the time, what's called in the US, the Times of London. So the paper, the Times in the UK. And I didn't realize this, but by completing it and filling out my information, I don't remember if I understood why I was doing that. Um, but I, I did, it asked for my, asked for my mailing address and I sent it in and it ended up, I won a set, a really nice set of cross pens a fountain pen and a ballpoint pen. It was very nice. And it was, I think, a, a random drawing of those who completed the puzzle within the, you know, official publication window, or whatever it was. So I was quite fortunate to have won that set of pens on my very first, I'm pretty sure the very first time I'd ever submitted a uh, Times competition puzzle. And I didn't even know what I was doing. But that's how I knew what cross products were, their pens. Okay, exchange words. Why do I not see what that is? That's very frustrating. And let develop in a way. And sensational as certain details. Could be the gory details, which are sen sensational or sensationalized, possibly, depending on how enthusiastic a storytelling you, storyteller you are. Word with rock or hard. Candy. There we go. Rock candy or hard candy. And does that help this at all? It feels that this must be must be not too difficult. What about this? Attractively bold self-confident self-assurance, I'm sorry, casually. Attractively bold self-assurance, casually. Oh, swag, you might say. That person has swagger, which has been shortened to swag. I believe those are that would be the same, essentially the same word, right? Or at least related enough. That's what the word comes from. So exchange words. Oh, oh, I see. Ah, it's a noun. It's a noun. Words of exchange rather than the 
act of exchanging words. And so the words of exchange are, want to trade? All right, I don't feel quite as bad about not getting that. Let develop in a way. And long ago, oh, aged, right. So aged, an aged cheese or an aged wine, it was aged. It was let, you, you, you let it develop, you aged it. So that is fair enough. Um, Blank Bryant, 20th century singer, civil rights activist. Uh, is it Anita Bryant or am I mixing people up here? No, I think I must be mixing people up. Oh, that's frustrating. I'll need to get it with crosses. Blank Pitch. I think of Anita Baker, maybe. Anyway, Blank Pitch. And set of eight for most spiders' legs. I suppose straightforward enough. Filipino national hero, hero Blank Rizal. Oh, I'm not sure about this either. And singular, once. Uh, let's keep looking. Quartz, oh, uh, so this, this area down here is completely uh, closed off from the rest of the grid. So we'll have to solve it on its own without any additional crosses coming from outside. So that, why don't we focus on that for a moment? Okay, so short courses. Short courses, apps. There we go. So the question mark indicates some kind of pun or wordplay. So we need to read this differently to what the surface meaning might suggest. And in this case, courses means courses in a meal. And so short, I suppose it's actually doing double, it's, it's doing double work because it, it both is referring to shortening the word itself. So we're shortening appetizers to apps, but we're also, appetizers are also in a way short courses. They're smaller courses. Oh, march participants maybe are protesters. There we go. That's straightforward enough. Uh, participating in a march, protesting. Not literally. Oh, so to speak. Yes. So you could refer to something uh, not quite literally. So you'd say, yeah, well, it was it was a mile long, so to speak. Uh, that's not a great example, but you take my meaning. Laugh Fest could be a riot. That's a total riot. Oh, and perhaps this is Atria after all. And a Spanish wine region named for an animal. Oh, Toro. Okay. So, right. Named after what? The bull? So there we have it. We've we've closed off this little region down here. It was locked off. and it, So having done that, it won't help us with anything up here, but that's okay. Let's, let's jump back up to the top of the grid. I haven't looked at it in a while. So ale category. What if it, what if this were lager? Things stuck with toothpicks. Boy, I don't, that is not obvious to me. Maybe this isn't, could key for a trumpet mean something else? I was very confident about putting flat in there, but perhaps I shouldn't have been. Maybe it's not, maybe that's not even accurate in the sense that I was thinking. And perhaps it's not even that sense. Maybe it's a different meaning of key. I mean, trumpets do have keys. I wanted this disagenda to be mono to make it literally second hand of the second hand does that let me do anything ale category ale category oh i'm just not sure key for a trumpet okay well but that could be valve trumpet has valves and the keys trigger those so perhaps that's what that means oh longtime cosmetics brand then could be avon that I certainly recognize. So ale category, what is... I don't know, I keep thinking Amaro, but that's a, that's a liqueur, category of liqueur, not ale. Stretching just to see a teensy... Oh, have I looked at this clue? I don't think I have. Stretching to see just a teensy bit better, perhaps, on one's... Does this... Need to be legs, set of eight for most spiders. Uh, I don't know, could it be? Do they have eight of something else? I mean, it could be arms. Do they have eight eyes? What did I think this was? On ones. 
toes. So does that mean this isn't on the back burner? It really seems like it has to be. On stretching to see just a teensy bit better, perhaps. On tippy toes or something? On tippy toe, does that work? Slow pitch, is that right? Um, let's keep looking at these. Things stuck with toothpicks. Oh, BLTs maybe, a sandwich. Sometimes you would, with certain sandwich that have the have the possibility of getting getting put into disarray you might spear them with a toothpick so on pretty darn good not oh no slouch there we go all right i don't know if i'm i don't know if you'd say that about me with today's crossword not the best but let's see like the more interesting twin some would say oh evil the evil twin okay fair enough not very surprised I didn't immediately get that. Oh, Amber Ale. Ah, that's very frustrating. Yes, okay. Well, I'm certainly familiar with Amber Ales, but I just could not bring it to mind. I'm very sorry. Many a Tumblr share. Oh, a repost, perhaps? You reposted someone else's post, I guess. Uh, so symbol of strength. Steel. Yeah, okay. Steel is a pretty classic symbol of strength. And articulated. Oh, I see. You articulated something well. You put it well. That's fair enough. Oh, so maybe this is just on tippy toe. Okay, I think I have usually heard that phrase pluralized, but um, but that's fair enough. Uh, point taken. Uh, okay, where was I? Set of oh, set of eight for most spiders. It must be eyes, and singular. Oh, only. Oh, oh, Joyce Bryant, and then Jose Rizal. And slow pitch. There we go. This all looks correct. Yes. Okay, so I had a funny curve with this puzzle. It was very steep difficulty for me at the beginning. And then I got a bit of a, a way in somewhere over here. I actually don't remember exactly what it was. And then from that point, it was pretty smooth for a while. But then in closing out the puzzle, I would say I faced a bit of an uphill climb again. So an interesting, an interesting pattern. It wasn't it's very different, I think, to, la as I recall, last week's Friday, which I remember being a pretty smooth solve throughout. Even, even if it was tricky, um, I remember my, my solving pace being pretty, pretty constant throughout it. So this was very different in that regard. Um, a tough time, and then some smooth solving, and then closing it out with another difficult... Uh, burst of burst of answers. So yeah, an interesting Friday puzzle for me. And we had some fun fills on the back burner. It's always it's always nice to get um, some answers that fill the entire grid. And what else were some of our long sort of, I don't know what you call them, anchor answers or something like that. Uh, best chance, one at a time. Point taken, protesters. On tippy toe and want to trade. Oh, these on tippy toe and want to trade are, are both uh, sort of slangy, or maybe even you could almost say slightly sort of child-oriented language, and they mirror each other. They're symmetrical. Uh, whereas these in the acrosses are all very straightforward, very, very straightforward phrases. Best chance, one at a time, point taken, and protesters. And similarly on the back burner. So nothing, nothing very obscure, just some Often I find these kinds of casual bits of speech can be some of the most difficult things to fill without sufficient crosses because they're so general. Um, it's, it's almost sometimes something that's ostensibly more difficult, but also more specific. Sometimes it can be easier if your brain happens to go there. And sometimes these general things I find can be more difficult if you just can't pin down what this relatively open-ended uh, bit of meaning could collapsed down to. Anyway, that was the, oh, and this actually, we did have uh, some, some intersecting um, proper nouns. So that can, that can always be tough as well. I think in this case, the name, even if you'd never heard of either of these people in any context, there wouldn't be too, I guess, I guess Royce could conceivably work here because Rose could be a name. So there are other letters that could technically work, but I think I think you'd land on J is the most likely. Anyway, that was the Friday puzzle. 
by Claire Rimkus and Brooke, Brooke Husick. And I think a, a nice puzzle, despite my, despite my challenging, my, my challenges in solving it. So I hope you, I hope you uh, agreed. Let me know how you fared. I'm always curious. And now let's discuss a few clues from yesterday's puzzle. I actually have several highlighted. So, well, first off, Elliot Robinson pointed out, it's worth noting that the first time constructor of this puzzle, Daniel Bodily, donated all of the payment he received for the puzzle to Ukrainian refugees. Neat puzzle and a good dude as well. That is very nice to hear. So thank you for pointing that out, Elliot. And regarding uh, Habanero or Habanero, um, I had a, I had a little discussion with myself in the puzzle because the it was brought up that Jalapeno has a tilde above the N and Habanero does not. And I thought, oh, that must mean it's pronounced jalapeno versus habanero. And then I sort of second guessed myself, and then I figured, no, that must that must be what the puzzle is pointing out with this clue. And Bit and Brush uh, says that is correct. Habanero is a hyper foreignism when people tend to assign um, what are perceived or assumed to be more exotic or foreign sounding sounds to words, even when it's not actually appropriate. And a very common example of that is Beijing versus Beijing. Um, it's more, I mean, I'm, I'm sure I'm not pronouncing it well in, in any absolute sense, but Beijing is closer to being correct than Beijing, but the soft J, I think, has a connotation of uh, something more elevated or sort of exotic um, often in English. And so uh, it is very common to, to assume that it would be pronounced Beijing, but uh, le that is less correct. So that's an example of a hyperforeignism. Okay, moving on. Chasmart explains Uno Attack, uh, a game with which I was unfamiliar in yesterday's crossword, is played just like regular, where all cards are noted, loaded into a... What? Load it into a machine that spit a random number of cards at you. Is that what it's like? Draw draw two and four cards are replaced by hit cards, defining how many times to touch the hit button. Okay, so I guess Uno Attack has a machine that spits cards at you. All right, fair enough. And finally, there was a bit of a discussion in the comments about the definition of the home counties, which came up in the puzzle yesterday. And the answer to one of the home counties in yesterday's puzzle was Essex. Um, the home counties being... Well, I, I've un always understood them to be the counties that are in the south, the the southeast of England, basically directly surrounding Greater London. And ZOR95 says, the home counties are not a precisely defined thing. And to be honest, this is the first time I'd ever heard Essex as being a member, though by a lot of common definitions it is. Uh, this probably arises from the stereotype of the home counties as being the posh counties, whereas the public perception of Essex is very much not that. Obviously, real life is more nuanced. The, more, the most common definition seems to be that they are simply the counties that surround Greater London, but East and West Sussex is often described as being in this group, and they are very much not. Yeah, it was an interesting, it was an interesting comment and point, and I, I did a bit of poking about it because I had always sort of taken it for granted that Essex was one of the home counties, and I do think that it, I do think that by most definitions it is, and I think particularly. I mean, this, this was, this, this, I had to, I, I did poke around a bit. So this, this isn't, this bit isn't off the top of my head, obviously, but uh, the farther back you go historically, the more likely it seems that Essex would have been included in the home counties. And I suspect that ZOR95 is right to the extent that these days, some people consider Essex to be less, uh, less likely to be included. It probably is because of that the, the reputation of the home counties being posh, there is a sort of connotation around the home counties being where, you know, a city of London banker would, they would own their large home and then they would commute into the city from the home counties. I feel like that's the sort of one of the more commonly deployed, uh, but, but that's, but Essex also has its own identity with respect to kind of new money city bankers. So I don't know, maybe, maybe that, maybe it should be included if, and for that reason as well. Anyway, Regardless, the home counties have all sorts of different definitions from various government um, initiatives and, and sources going back centuries, in fact, and uh, there is no single definition that includes all of them, but there are certainly some counties that appear in those definitions more than others, and I think Essex appears more often than not. Anyway, I think it was a fair enough clue in the New York Times crossword, but obviously these things are, are all... Um, 
it's uh, nothing is nothing is purely black and white with this sort of longstanding cultural uh, term terminology. All right, that's it. That's it for the Friday fossil. Sorry for that long digression there. Wasn't expecting to spend that long on the home counties, but um, what can you do? So I will be back tomorrow, of course, for the Saturday puzzle, which will be another themeless puzzle, possibly more difficult than this one. So I'll have to be on my guard there. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please do subscribe to the channel and uh, like the video if you if you did. <laughs> if you did like the video, I presume if you're watching it this far in, you probably didn't hate it anyway. And if you think you know someone else who might not hate it or maybe even like it, pass it along to them. And I will be back again, as I just said, for tomorrow's Saturday puzzle. I hope you join me. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Friday. Take care. Mm -hmm.